So for the Red Sox, you know, when you win the World Series, you guys know everybody's gunning for you, right? It's, 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 it's a different world. There's all these obligations. It's hard to repeat. But, Train, I'm curious for you, when you look at this Red Sox team, what, what is the biggest deficiency, the thing that worries you, that might impede their chance to get back? The back end of that bullpen. Yeah. I, I really believe they made a mistake letting Joe Kelly walk and leaving Kimbrell on the oven, on the stove. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> on the yeah, couch. Yeah, yeah, on the couch. You know what I mean? Because... Their intangibles, the firepower they possess, that's going to be big shoes to fill, especially with the bullpen by committee. That's going to be tough, especially in that division. A lot of high-powered offenses. They will score. They will be at the top of that division. But when they play the better AL teams, I think that's going to really ugly head. I really do. Well, I think if there is anything that the Boston Red Sox don't have, it, or the thing they do have is an unproven bullpen. Right. You've got guys like Matt Barnes in the back end, Ryan Brazer, Brendan Workman. They have an eight-man bullpen with a total combined 15 career saves. Wow. So that says unproven to me moving forward. I think their offense, I think, is going to outshine that from time to time. They Absolutely. will be able to put up a lot of runs when they need it. Guys like J.D. Martinez, Mookie Betts. But if there is an Achilles heel for the Boston Red Sox, it has to be the back end of their bullpen. What is it like to just try and repeat? I mean, look, they're loaded talent-wise. Yes, they're missing a couple key right. cogs. I agree with you on the bullpen. But just the idea of getting back on the horse when everybody like, – how hard is that, Swish, what they're going to go through here this year? You don't see it happen very often, and, right. you, and you definitely don't see teams win back-to-back -back that often. Uh, I think the last team that maybe went to the World Series back-to-back -back was Kansas City Royals, Absolutely. and they lost and then won. The Yankees were the last ones that yeah. did it back in, yeah. uh, was it, 98 through 2000, Yeah, right? correct, yeah. when they had kind of like that dynasty. Now, with what Boston has, I think, like you said to your point, losing guys like, you know, uh, 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 Craig Kimbrell yeah. coming over there, not having that back end of the bullpen, the proven guys, the guys you need to shut down those big innings in crucial games, right. I think that's going to hurt them moving forward. It's going to be tough for them because they're finally the hunted, and they're going to get everyone's best fight. This is a playoff game for the Mariners okay. right now. They're playing with that type of intensity. It doesn't matter where the Red Sox go, especially on the road. They're going to get a playoff-type atmosphere, and everybody's going to gun for them. It's going to be fun, and that's why it's truly hard to repeat because now we all want to get the title. We want to get a piece yeah, of, course, of, 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 course. of the champion. You saw it with the Chicago Cubs. Now you're seeing it with the Boston Red Sox. And when you win in those two cities, the party's actually for two years. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So they're still having obligations to do. They're still signing autographs, a lot of Dunkin' Donuts and all that other stuff. But, again, they still have baseball games to play. Hey, they uh, they still won 108 last year. They so did. We'll see if they get back and, uh, <laughs> and, and do it again. And we're That's talking bad. 108. You know, yeah. listen, we're nitpicking. That's what we're trying to do.